How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be working on this Huawei device and we're going to be showing you guys how to do a firmware restore slash unbrick slash return to stock slash root or unroot I should say um, video on this device is a Huawei and this should work on all the current Huawei devices that are out there because they all have this option of what's called e-recovery. So to do this what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to hold down your power button and you're going to turn off the device and um, we're going to shut it, shut it down all the way. So we'll go ahead and power off. Okay, so the device is powered off. Now you're going to need to have a USB cable um, for this to work. Uh, you can either plug it into your computer or even a wall outlet will work for this. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to flip this thing over to the side just so I can hit the buttons. We're going to be using volume up, power, and plugging in the USB cable to achieve this. Okay, so first plug in the USB cable and then hold volume up and power and just continue to hold these buttons um, until you get to a recovery screen okay so however long that takes and it may take a while if you're stuck in a boot loop where the device won't boot up just just hold them just continue to hold them until you see a recovery screen there might be lots of flashes on the screen like you're seeing on mine here um, that's gonna be pretty normal so um, it's, it just takes a little bit like I said, if you're stuck in a boot loop, it's not a big deal. Just hold the buttons and eventually you'll you'll get in there. As long as you have the USB cable plugged in, volume up, and power button held, um, you should be good. Obviously, the USB cable needs to be plugged into some kind of power source or your computer. And there you go. We are in e-recovery. So let's flip this up. Now, what's different about this recovery than um, the normal recovery? Let's talk about that. So standard um, recovery for this device, for Huawei devices, is just going to be basically reboot system, wipe data, wipe cache. Okay, This one is e-recovery. You can see it up in the top. EMUI, e-recovery, has an extra added option, which is this one right here. Download latest version and recovery. That's the one we want. So we're going to select that. And now you can connect to Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? So we're going to say download and recover or and recovery and it's going to start your Wi-Fi on your device and allow you to connect to your local Wi-Fi network so that it can find the correct firmware for you. So I'm going to connect to mine. Okay, I'm connecting to my uh, my network now and this is pretty awesome. So the beauty of um, e-recovery is the fact that it downloads it for you. So what this is going to do is this is going to go out and ping Huawei's server. Okay. It's going to find the latest firmware version for your device, right? It, 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 you don't have to do any of that, right? Instead of going online and like trying to find firmware somewhere and do I have the right version, is it the right model number, is all the other issues, you don't do any of that. As long as you can get booted into eRecovery, it takes care of all of it for you. So right here you can see this is the full package. It is um, 3,576 megabytes, which is almost three, it's basically three and a half gigs. Um, it is downloading that firmware right now. Now you can see I have pretty fast internet. That's why it's going pretty quickly. But it's going to download that firmware and then do a full firmware restore and get you back to 100% stock firmware here in eRecovery. So we're going to speed this up and uh, we'll see how this goes. Downloading package from server. Check. Now we're verifying the package which is a great thing, right? They're basically doing an MD5 check or a hash check of what has been downloaded to make sure that it has it is official and that everything matches correctly. So right here, it's very important. This says um, that it's doing the um, recovery of the system. So it's running the update or the firmware flash right now in recovery. Um, it says do not um, unplug battery, memory, device, do not do any other operations. Don't, don't mess with it, basically. Leave it alone. Now, I would recommend highly recommend that you actually leave your cable plugged in while you're doing this process um, because you don't want to lose power during it because that could really really mess it up now you can see up top right here that I have a full battery this thing's hundred percent charged if it's hundred percent charged you probably don't need to leave it plugged in um, part of the reason I'm not leaving it plugged in is because it's hard to see sideways right so sitting in my stand so I leave it up and down so for you guys but highly recommend doing that you can see it actually did just, just drop a tick on the battery there so we're at 10 percent of the firmware restore so let's let this thing wrap up okay here we go 
firmware restore is at 98%, just about to wrap up, 99. This is excellent. There you go, it is done, and it is about to automatically reboot right down there at the bottom in five seconds. So that is the process to use eRecovery. I have to say I really love that Huawei has built this into their devices because this just makes life so simple. Um, all the other OEMs, pretty much, you have to you know, plug your device into a computer, you have to install their software, you have to set up your drivers, you have to make sure everything's working right, then you have to plug it in and run through a process, and you know, it's this whole thing. Um, and then do, you, does, do they have a software that works on, on Mac and Windows or only Windows? Who cares about all that, right? Um, Huawei here, at least on this Huawei Honor and, and all their latest devices, just works. Okay, just works, which is awesome. Um, as you can see, it didn't even ask to go through the setup wizard right here. It looks like this restore was able to restore the device without even wiping data. Okay, so that's pretty awesome. I'm not saying that's going to happen every time or that's going to be possible every time, but definitely did work on this device. So big thumbs up to that. There you go. That's going to wrap up the video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. How to do a firmware restore, um, unroot, you know, update on Huawei devices, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Rude Junkie out.